typically when we have copper two sulfate crystals, they're going to be a blue crystal, as you see in the picture here. And it's pretty soluble. You put it in water. This is a magnetic stir. We turn the stir on and you see that it dissolves and it creates this blue solution. So copper two sulfate, a solution of copper two sulfate is going to be blue. But what if we heated those crystals up? So here's our blue crystal. This is called copper two sulfate and it's pentahydrate. If we wrote the formula for this, this is what it would look like. We'd have our copper two sulfate and it has five water molecules around each formula unit of the CuSO4. But if we heat this up, we can drive off all the water and leave just the CuSO4. We call that copper two sulfate and it's anhydrous. It doesn't have any water. So because of that, this CuSO4 anhydrous, it's kind of a white powder. We could put it in water and it would turn blue as it was hydrated back to this copper two sulfate pentahydrate. Finally, if we took the solution we had earlier and we put that on a piece of wood splint and put it in a flame, we'd get this nice green color. And that's a good way to test for copper two ions. Solutions with copper two ions give us this green color. This is Dr. Beek talking about the color of copper two sulfate, both the pentahydrate and the anhydrous copper two sulfate. Thanks for watching.